welcome welcome my dear friends myself retired professor dr rajendra rugvir deshpande would like to welcome you all welcome so immediately we will start today's very interesting video this is very interesting video my dear friends the topic is something from the nervous system this is under the playlist medicine classes in gp i know sir you are always talking about general practice but is this case hemiplegia can be treated at general medical practice no no i know that but still i have taken this topic because this is very common complaint common type of patients that we face in the hospitals and after care underline my words underline my words after care is done by family physician and another important aspect of this disease hemiplegia commonly in the world in the society paralysis in ayurved pakshaghat this is very important neurological problem my dear friends because in the acute condition the patient is always admitted in the modern icu hospitals hospital in the icu intensive care unit and thrombolytic treatment is given and after settlement of 2 3 days the patient is asked to go home and here the patient immediately go to the ayurvedic treatments because my dear friends residual damage residual hemiplegia the only answer is ayurveda in the acute i sometimes admit anti thrombolytic treatment injection streptokinase can be given in the modern hospitals in the intensive care unit so hemiplegia is a common in the society and that's why retired professor dr rajendra desh pande would like to discuss this topic hemiplegia okay so my whatsapp number 9226810630 and i definitely know you are so much you are the students you are the teachers you are the doctors from allopathy ayurved homeopathy physiotherapy pharmacy you are giving support to doctor myself professor dr desh pande i am very much thankful to you please continue this your love and affection and cooperation with subscribing my youtube channel you can mail me for your paid consultation about the health problem about the palmistry about any classes private tuitions yes i take it i do the private consultations about health lifestyle disorders i can manage i give the prakriti analysis so all these you can mail me professor deshpande at the rate of gmail.com if the acute attack is over of hemiplegia and you want some ayurvedic support contact professor deshpande now whether you practice allopathy ayurveda homeopathy naturopathy you must try to find out the root cause of any problem that is called as a differential diagnosis and in ayurved it is called as vyadhi vavachchedak nidan now the basic principle to treat any disease sankshepataha kriya yogo nidana parivarjanam can you see on the screen that is the management principle to avoid or to remove or to treat the basic positive factors don't hit in the bush don't hit in the dark sharp treatment is given i am discussing nervous system urgencies like i have already uploaded vertigo i have already uploaded the video on vertigo video on syncope video on convulsions and video on epilepsy my dear friends there are already many many videos from dr pandey i have uploaded digestive problems in gp respiratory problems in gp cardiovascular problems in gp 
excretory kidney problems in GP. And now I have done many uploading of nervous system problems. This is apoplexy or the stroke. What is that apoplexy is a complicated word and stroke is a very simple word. Sudden loss of consciousness due to the cerebrovascular accident, brain and blood vessels, cerebrovascular accidents. Main causes are cerebral hemorrhage because of the uncontrolled and active attack, boom, of hypertension. So if there is a hypertensive person, patient, please, please listen carefully. Hypertension is the main cause of hemiplegia. Don't forget it. Never forget it. So hypertension patient should check the blood pressure very, very, very regularly. And without doctor's consultation, don't stop the anti-hypertensive medicine for a single day. That can cause this hemorrhage. Then you must take care of cerebral thrombosis, embolism, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and hypertensive encephalopathy. Thrombosis, embolism. Thrombosis is a blood clot, stationary, one place. And embolism, moving blood clot, moving blood clot, embolism. Stable blood clot, thrombosis. Hemiplegia, half side. Hemi is a half. Paralysis, half side of your body, including the lower half of the face, upper and lower extremities, hands and legs, due to the opposite sided pyramidal lesion. Whatever hemorrhage, whatever thrombosis, if for example, my right leg patient is having right paralysis, right paralysis, so the problem is on the left side. And if left-sided hemiplegia, problem is in the brain on the right side. That is contralateral. Don't forget it. Right? Usually right-sided paralysis, hemorrhage, thrombosis, embolism, where? On the left side. And problem is on the right. Left side, pathology will be in the right side. Simple to understand. What to do? To rule out the vascular lesion problem, blood vessel problem, do the CT scan, computerized tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. You can get a very pinpointed diagnosis of bleeding, capillary bleeding. Where is the clot? Where is the thrombosis? You can detect. Where is the bleeding? You can operate. Okay. Is it ischemic? or hemorrhagic. Ischemic means less blood supply to the brain because of thrombosis and embolism. And hemorrhagic bleeding. So we have to do CT and MRI. CT or MRI, not and. Is it a subarachnoid hemorrhage? Then again CT and lumbar puncture needle. Lumbar puncture. Cerebrospinal fluid analysis. Is there any cardiac source of embolism that moving blood clot starts from your heart. Do the electrocardiogram, ECG, 24 hour ECG monitoring, echocardiogram. What is the underlying vascular disease? Duplex USS of carotid. You have to examine the carotid. Magnetic resonance angiograph, MRA, CT angiograph and contrast angiograph. Angio means blood vessels. Graphy means to put the dye and see whether the blood circulation is good or not. What can be the risk factors for hemiplegia? Total blood count you must do. Check the lipid profile. Cholesterol, triglyceride, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol. You know that. Huh? So you check that. Glucose level, fasting, postprandial, random, whether the patient is diabetic, whether the patient is hypertensive. Is there any unusual cause? Not diabetic, not something different. 
So do the ESR, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, to allow the chronic prominence, protein electrophoresis, clotting and thrombophilia screening. Is there any blood dyscrasia? Any bleeding problems? Bleeding time and clotting time are abnormal. Do it. Clinical features in cerebral thrombosis, which is the commonest cause, 90% cerebral thrombosis. So onset will be step by step. Last three, four, five days, last week, two weeks, slowly progress. If the hemorrhage, acute. One hour before patient was all right. Within this half an hour, he starts, he gets the hemiplegia. Acute, storming. That is because of the hemorrhage. Embolism, also acute. But always thrombosis is a slow process, insidious. Usually occurs at rest during the sleep. Why? Because in the sleep, blood circulation is on the lower side. Pre-monetary symptoms, warning, transient amyopia, problem with the eyes, hemiparesis, little weakness of the hand or leg, cannot lift up, cannot put the glass, aphasia, cannot speak. <laughs> Yes, action packed, Dr. Deshpande. Aphasia, speech problem, may be convulsive, seizures at the onset. Next, clinical features, second slide. Hemiplegia is the infarction of the territory of the middle cerebral artery, branch of the cerebral artery, charcut artery, right down. C H A R charcut artery, most delicate. Boom, hypertension, boom. Normal 120 by 80 mm of Hg. Always look for diastolic blood pressure. If it is in spite of 80, if it is 90 to 100, mild. 110 to 120, moderate. Above 120 mm of Hg, diastolic blood pressure, severe malignant hypertension. Take care, take care, take care. Okay, so that can cause this hemiparesis. Maybe hemianopia, hemianesthesia, little bit. Some improvement occur within a period of two months and maximum till sixth month. Neurological regeneration. Regeneration, maximum up to six months. Then there will be residual hemiplegia. So immediately after acute attack, Please, please, whether you are teachers, doctors, students, patient, please go to the Ayurveda. Ayurveda will definitely help to minimize, to minimize residual hemiplegia. You must go to the Ayurvedic Vaidya nearby or Mahuna. Okay. Now, step by step, clinical feature, higher functions, time, place, orientation. Okay, so if you ask, how are you? He will understand, he will try to give the answers. So higher functions, intellect will be normal. In the right-sided person, there will be left side, as I already explained, left-sided lesion will be there and that may produce a fascia due to the involvement of Broca's area. So slurring, dysarthria will be there. Cranial nerves, supranuclear type of seventh nerve paralysis is seen. Upper half is escaped sometimes because that part is controlled, upper part, by pyramidal tracts of both sides. Sometimes there is also supranuclear type of twelfth nerve paralysis. So, deviation of tongue will be there. Deviation of tongue on the side of hemiplegia. Motor functions. In hemiplegia, most important is motor system and not the sensory system. Jnanendriya and Karmendriya. Ayurveda, Ayurveda, Karmendriya, loss of motor function. So most important is a muscle power is lost on the paralyzed side or it may be complete loss or it may be partial loss that is paresis. 
muscle tone is increased muscle tone is increased class knife type of rigidity clasp knife type of rigidity nutrition usually it is normal but in long standing cases after 6 months there may be disuse atrophy because that muscles are not working that not getting proper nourishment not neurological stimulation no blood circulation so this use atrophy muscle will shrink because of not using that muscles okay coordination movements for example this is the coordination in upper extremities nose finger nose test nose finger nose test from this side nose finger test all this is explained well you know dr deshpande is most popular videos you know that you are the first time seeing my video then go and check clinical examination videos clinical examination videos of professor deshpande are tremendously popular nervous system examination part 1 part 2 part 3 only 20 minutes each please please check it because in hemiplegia you must know how to examine nervous system so i am requesting you please go and check the playlist and what will you see clinical examinations nervous system examination part 1 by professor dr aradesh pande on the google search it best video best okay involuntary muscular movements usually absent but rarely post hemiplegic spine tremors may develop sensory functions no change sensory functions no change because hemiplegia is a motor problem reflexes superficial abdominal reflexes check my video i have already done that video everything is been explained how to do that so abdominal reflexes are lost on the side of paralysis plantar reflex is extensor that is babinskin sign will be positive on the paralyzed side right or left deep reflexes on the paralyzed sides will be exaggerated deep reflexes are always exaggerated in upper motor neuron u n n u n n upper motor neuron hemiplegia is a problem of upper motor neuron from brain to the spinal cord is upper motor neuron and from spinal cord to the muscle lower motor neuron like polio polio is a lmn lesion lower motor neuron hemiplegia is upper motor neuron so deep reflexes are exaggerated okay gait how the person walks hemiplegic or circumduction gait shown it is already practically demonstrated in my video of clinical examination motor system this is already in my video cortico spinal tract is damaged that is from downward tract charcot artery is breaking can you see here charcot artery name of the artery nutrition muscle nutrition measurement is done by measuring tape measuring tape tone hypertonic muscle tone powers are graded from 0 to 5 coordination test like finger nose test involuntary movements tremors and diadokinesis diadokinesis coordination test diadokinesis this is the test don't get funny this is the test that i am showing you is shown in the video in hemiplegia cortico spinal tract i am sorry spelling mistake is there will you please allow me to correct it my dear friends you are always my friend so i don't get afraid in front of you <laughs> okay uh, so i will save this and again i will make a screen bigger okay don't worry be happy cortico spinal tract is damaged charcot artery breaked because of the explosion of hypertension brain to the spinal cord this nerve is umn it is damaged in hemiplegia reflexes are exaggerated spinal cord two particular organ that is lmn that is poliomyelitis reflexes are diminished 
this is the most important student should not u m n and l m n just figure has been shown now moments this is my hand chala chala halwa move move it no movement zero grade zero then flickering movement flickering movement grade one side to side movement grade two uplift uplift against the gravity ah uh, grade three if i am doctor is keeping the pressure lift it lift it ah uh, grade four mm. and normal strength so hemiplegia in each case paper especially this is request for ayurvedic and homeopathic students and doctors and vaidya i am sorry i am not giving any blame to a particular person but i am very afraid to say that when i visit when we observe ayurvedic hospitals and the patients of paksha ghat hemiplegia case papers are not well fulfilled no 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 i am sorry so take care whether you are doing private hospital private practice or any general hospital ayurvedic homeopathic please write down this grade power of right ex extremity left extremity right hand left hand etc etc okay so different gates circumduction in hemiplegia jerky gate in parkinsonism drunken gate i have shown demonstration is done in my video cerebral ataxia spastic gate in paraplegia flaccid gate in poliomyelitis and seizure gate in diplegia this is most important for mcq acute stroke management in the hospital not to be worried about family physician airway so you must take care of airway perform a swallow screen and keep patient nil by mouth if swallowing is unsafe don't give anything by mouth check the respiratory rate check the oximeter pulse oximeter o2 saturation is low use oxygen then check the circulation check the pulse and blood pressure hydration if you find that the patient is dehydrated give the iv normal glucose fluid if swallowing is unsafe nutrition take the nutritional supplements if persistent dysphagia feed to the nasal gastric tube or rice tube medication if dysphagic consider alternative routes for essential medications okay blood pressure unless there is a heart failure or renal failure or hypertensive encephalopathy or aortic dissection do not lower bp drastically do not lower the bp drastically in hemiplegia and it can compromise this cerebral perfusion okay bp usually normalizes within a few days okay blood glucose if blood glucose is too high 500 1000 mg per 100 ml use the insulin through the infusion or that particular pump glucose potassium insulin to normalize the levels temperature if there is a hyperpyrexia or other blood uh, temperature is high treat the cause and give the antipyretic very early because cerebral damage may be increased pressure areas anticipate and manage the risk treat the infections maintain the nutrition provide pressure relieving mattresses and turn the immobile patients regularly incontinence ensure that patient is not constipated or no having urinary retention avoid catheterization unless if there is a retention if there is incontinence in threatening threatening the pressure area then do the catheter but normally try to avoid catheterization because it can precipitate infections mobilization as much as possible step by step mobilization is mandatory okay after care in the stroke patient check the blood pressure regularly by the family physician maintain strict control on the hypertension okay tablet percentin 75 mg bd this is anti thrombotic tablet ticlovas ticlopidin 250 mg 1 bd tablet asa aspirin 50 mg 1 oli my dear friends here a disclaimer 
professor deshpande is making the videos mainly for age not only for educational purpose not at all for self medication so whether it's allopathic whether it's ayurvedic no patient is allowed to take this medicine my warning please go to the family physician channel tell him that i have seen professor deshpande's video i have written make a snapshot write down the notes that is allowed and then discuss family physician don't teach the family physician you know everything okay but you must have awareness what treatments are given this is a general knowledge for the patients general knowledge for the patient educational knowledge for the students simple okay so to improve the blood cerebral microcirculation because ischemia is there we want to renew we want to reduce ischemia tablet hydrogen 1 mg tds before meal tablet n cafebol that is pyritinol 100 mg tds or tablet nuraxitam nuraxitam that is piracetam 200 mg three times in a day physiotherapy and exercises for the weak limbs faradic current stimulation is necessary encourage patients to for active movement as early as as possible training to the relatives to do the passive movements move the hand move the hand passive patient cannot move but you do something give him some ball press it compress it check hand press it press it press it so passive stimulation should be there to prevent the deformity ayurvedic snehan and swedan after acute stroke is over immediate ayurvedic hospital admission is there okay pakshagha ayurvedic perspective madhava nidan vat vyadhi these are the references charak samhita chikitsa sthan chapter number 28 5156 snapshot for my students go and open these original text samhitas and read those matter okay pakshagha samprapti vat prakupit vishesha of vat dosh vat dosh can be compared vat pitta kapha bio energies vat is the bio energy for all types of movements pitta is the bio energy for metabolism and transformation kapha dosh is the bio energy for nutrition stability and growth vat dosh activity and functions are compared with yes nervous system pitta bio energy activity are compared with hormones enzymes neurotransmitters yes you are right okay so there is a damage to the half part of the body paksha ghat paksha not bird <laughs> not bird paksha means extremity hand or leg is called as a paksha in ayurveda sira and snayu sira and snayu upadhatu are damaged dryness is there shoshane rukshaha shoshane rukshaha shoshana ishtimiya shosh under nourishment or weakness in the conduction in the circulation to the brain prana vayu dushti there are five types of prana va prana udana dhyana samana pan so prana vayu is a problem loss in functions of karmendriya pani and pad hands and legs then what is that pranavayu adhishtan printing mistake excuse me let me correct let me correct my dear friends you are very nice people you are cooperating me so i am very very informal my lectures are informal so pranavayu adhishtan is a shira brain cerebrum which is having the stroke or cardiovascular accident पक्षाघात टाइप्स वातज पक्षाघात पित्त अनुबंधी पक्षाघात हाइपरटेंसिव स्ट्रोक सब एरेक्नाइड हेमरेज दैट इज पित्त कफानुबंधी पक्षाघात दैट इज थ्रोम्बोसिस एंड एम्बोलिज्म प्राण हां सो प्राण गति अगेन लिटिल बिट करेक्शन सॉरी आई एम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी नो प्रॉब्लम प्राण गति from nature to insight inspiration pranavayu 
expiration udana vayu so prana vayu is from inside so adhogami going to the downward direction so here virechana chikitsa ayurveda has recommend therapeutic purgation sira and kandara why the purgation paksha ghate virechanam don't forget this line paksha ghate virechanam this is asked in the examination why the hemiplegic patient should be given virechana here is answer so one is answer is prana gati anulomana gati to maintain anulomana normal direction nerve conduction sira and kandara are the upadatu of rakta and rakta and pitta are connected ashraya shri sambandha so virechan is best to control the pitta dosha but remember whenever we do the detox panchakarma purificatory vata prakop may be there after panchakarma to avoid that use the snigdha virechana that is eranda snake tablet eranda brusht haritaki is available in the market nishottar leh is also available to control the vata bhajya snehana you can use balatail dhanvandram kujambu of arya vaidya shala kottakal arya vaidya shala kottakal dhanvandram kujambu what is kujambu when oil and ghee together kujambu oil plus ghee together in that medicine kujambu narayana is a shatavari narayana tai narayana narayana bashpa sveda that is steam fermentation by nirgundi patra decoction nirgundi leaves desha mula decoction and eranda mula resinous mula roots vata decoction shali shastika pinda sveda typical type of fermentation anuvasana and asthapana basti vyatyasa alternate vyatyasat alternate vyatyasat alternate anuvasana only oil enema medicated enema by sea semi oil tilatail and anuvasana then another is asthapan asthapan is niruh that is oil is there but again vata is also there decoction is also there then that is asthapan then dashamula decoction you can use ten roots bilva agnimantha shonna patla tempu bilva agnimantha shonna patla tempu shaliparni krishniparni bruhati kantakari goksha shaliparni krishniparni bruhati kantakari goksha write down this ten names then pranavayu is on the head so nasahi shiroso dwaram nose is a door for the brain so you must use the nasya chikitsa putting the medicated oil drops in the nose either you can put cow's ghee anutail or shadbindu tail so pakshaga caution if pittanubandha bleeding is there no swedana no fomentation only snehana with kshirabala oil rakta mokshan is good in pittanubandhi because that can lower the hypertension of medicines yogaraj gugulu mahayogaraj gugulu vata vidhumsaras samira pannagaras vata gajankushiras these are all tablets ekanga viraras capsule palsy neuron from phytopharma company bruhat vat chintamat this is very costly how to get the sukshma vision lot of mails are there lots of whatsapps are there people are listening my videos for one hour because they know this is very good educational videos and they ask me sir where i can get that sukshma aushadhi of ayurveda because they are very very cheap one bruhatvat chintamani tablet can cost 25 30 35 rupees for only one tablet my god costly than allopathy yes there are some medicines like bruhatvat chintamani mahalakshmi vilasa rasa suvarna sukta shekhar rasa suvarna samira panna rasa contact vaidya rajan patankar my colleague my friend vaidya rajan patankar mumbai maharashtra state india whatsapp 
8204425201 he will give you the best sukshma aushadi of ayurveda in a reasonable rate medicines we will continue if there is a pitta anubandha suta shekhar jatamamsi herbal dhamasa dhamasa is the best plant for the controlling hypertension dhamasa dhanavati two tablets two times in a day to control hypertension kafanubandhi samirapannak and bhallatak can be used standard prescription not for patients for the students tablet rasa raj rasa one morning one evening then give some powders ashwagandha bokshu punarnava one gram each pippalli churna metabolic stimulant 250 mg abhrak basma for the regeneration of nerve abhrak basma myka 125 mg makara dwaj all dhatu tonic 125 mg shuddha shila jatu rasayana 125 mg all together bd with honey one spoon and ghee two spoon never take honey and ghee equal amount then ashwagandha rist and bala rist each 4 tsf with equal amount of water treatment yoga anuloma viloma pranayam learn it from yoga teacher and do it and ask the patient of pakshagat to do it as early as possible physiotherapy speech therapy passive hands and leg movements caution 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 if the patient is bedridden protect from getting the bed sores so regular sponging sprinkle talcum powder over at the back and water bed music therapy to cool and calm down the brain cells so my dear friend this is all about hemiplegia any disease should be treated by ahar vihar and aushadi dietary advice lifestyle management and medicines disclaimer any medicines mentioned here allopathy ayurved don't take by yourself to the patient go to the family physician or my mona i am very much thankful to you for your love and cooperation and i request each one of you by holding my hands to subscribe my youtube channel which gives you my me the strong energy okay i wish you all the best please take good care of yourself okay so i wish you happy healthy and long life and say bye bye okay okay bye bye take care bye 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 bye